And all right. So welcome back, everybody. Um, it's been a while. And let's see what happened last time. A lot happened last time and also not mm -hmm. enough. Um, you guys were told that you were going to be sent out on a scouting expedition um, because magic just ain't working right down here in the uh, the snare, as you came to find out it's called. A place where the walls rise up like great pillars of shell or bone. Um, something about it seems to be blocking a lot of well, types of magic used to punch holes in the universe, go from place to place. The exact sort of magic that would help to be able to get out of where you are now, eh. or mm. into the Feather House, for example. Something that you had not counted on was that the Feather House would not work in this place. Fruden's body, still there. Now, other things that happened. Uh, Zara, you went to go to try to uh, head to the council chambers and along the way in the remains of the seabed you saw poking up through the sands a tower uh, the remains of some ancient structure when you went to it you found that it was perhaps one of the tallest buildings in the city that lay beneath the city and what you you gathered uh, some things from there and found a book brought it back to uh, Jin Salton of the Sandalstone uh, scribes bookshop back at the Rex Wreck of the Exodus where he translated it for you and Pulpit Runkansen and uh, oh god um, Velago uh, Verbevena translated it to find that it is an account from the city that was taken before so what you've <laughs> come to understand is that the Mind Flayers, the Elithids have done this on any number of occasions, you can't quite count. There's no way to know, really, without an incredible excavation or finding out from someone around here just how many cities have been trapped. So, you were told that you have a few options. You can try and go yourselves. You can try to uh, wait for some of your uh, Fergandali uh, brothers in arms. You can take some of the first legion soldiers equipped with some kind of explosive charge. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, with a device that has five pins. Yeah. You can try to take everybody if you really want to, to see how that shakes out. <laughs> um, but ultimately, you're going to have to travel somehow to kind of the northeastern part of the uh, long corridor that the city lies in and get there and then find a way to, well investigate, to search out the area, find out if anything is prowling about the city at night, as there have been reports of that. People going missing, screams in the night, terrors. One of you has already had such night terrors, although unsure if it's related or something separate. You had a dream in which you saw visions of things to come, things that could be unclear. Brought to you by a very, very wholesome-looking uh, set of triplets. <laughs> oh yeah, they yeah. are very sweet. And definitely creepy. not creepy. Yeah. Um, spider legs. Creepy death babies. Um, yeah. Looked like uh, Sid from Toy Story's like Nightmares After Sees Woody. Um, yeah, so you uh, you got to find out a few things about dreams here in this place. and Still, you went off to chase. It was when you went into the Black into Blackstone again now that there was ways to go in and out. You went to... Uh, you ended up picking up just all of the pharmaceuticals that you could from the and herbs that you could find from uh, from the glass hearth. And not really knowing what to do with them, you brought them around and hopefully someone can ma help you make something to take you to Blackstone if you choose to do so. But not really knowing your way around, not really understanding this place, you have some decisions to make. For example, you have to decide how are you going to deal with the fact that Adraxa and Spine Crusher are fighting right now? Because <laughs> that is where we left off with rolling initiative and. Oh, yeah. I forget. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, for I, I forget the numbers, I, but Spine Crusher 
Yeah, Spine Crusher definitely. Yeah, Spine Crusher is up first for initiative. So let's get some epic battle music. Yes. Hey. What's the setting? Where are we right now? You guys went and pretty much. I think you just decided to sleep somewhere. You found a place somewhere in the city to. It was. Camp? It was wherever. Um, the other. The one surviving council member was. There are two. There's one that is currently at the uh, remains of the yeah. Exodus, and the other one was at the uh, council chambers. Yeah, we're at the Exodus, and they made us some yeah. gear, and they made Spine Crusher a new that's hammer. Right, that's right. That's right. You met a, a, you know, that's right. The dwarf who gave you the hammer made out of what looked like just a, a flange or a, like metal to like a great brass uh, post. Yeah. Cool. Was there anything special about this Warhammer? God, I can't keep track um, of this. Don't think there was. No, I would say there th was. I would say this. Can't remember. Oh, let me look it up. I think it was a D8. There was something cool about the crits, or maybe I had an extra damage dice or something. One second. Maybe it's a D10. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I think I have it. Uh, yeah, you can add. Yes, okay. You can do. You can add a vicious warhammer to your inventory. Which, when you roll a twenty on your attack roll with the uh, magic weapon, magic weapon, mind you, um, your critical deals an extra two d6 of the weapon's type, which is going to be bludgeoning. So one d8 doubled plus an additional 2d6 damage. It's not doubled. It's just an extra 2d6 uh, on top. All right, so on that, so this Vicious Warhammer on a net 20, crit deals an extra 2d6 on top of a 1d8 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, so you do your normal crit rolls for the 1d8, and then on top of your crit damage, roll an extra 2d6. Got it, yeah. Here, up where, yeah, you don't have a character, so I can't really give it to you. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. fine. All right, so, but it's still the just a warhammer, so plus eight, right? I assume. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. So we are, and are we outside right now? We're inside. We're about to make a yeah. huge mess of this like so, um, refugee camp. <laughs> picture, picture. So, if you will, picture like a more or less like a similar to like the the bulwarks and everything of the Condor X-12, like, right, like a lot of steel and, and, you know, plated floor tiling and everything. Looks like just a sort of steampunkish sort of uh, chamber, right, with walls mount, you know, kind of, that should be a little bit more level and straight up, but you can see a lot of them are at a tilted an axis, um, and right now they've, it seems like they've erected some kind of platforms to make it feel a little bit more level while they try and Re, you know, rescue what they can, of, re reclaim what they can of the Exodus. So, okay. And I'm face to face with the Draxa. Yeah. So we'll say that there's a big enough of a clearing. Let's say you know. Yeah. You want a piece of me, half orc? You want to travel with us? Show me if you're worth it. Call yourself worthy, Fargandali. Spine Crusher pulls out his vicious Warhammer uh, and charges out of Draxa with it. Yeah, you do. Can I make a tour? Yeah, you can make a tour. You were not right. so far away. The Draxa just grins. All right, 24. That'll hit. Okay. So. All right. So that will be... Um, Legendary. Oh, what's the? What, why do I have two different attack rolls? One, one d8 plus five, and one d10 plus three. So one handed or two handed? Two handed. One handed. Yep. Two -handed. One hand okay. or two handed. So I think I am doing it. Yeah, hit me with a harder one. Let me make sure. Do I have a shield? I do have a shield equipped, right? So I can't oh. use the one handed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Nine damage. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my extra attack, so I can attack three times whenever I take the attack action on my turn. Nice. 
So I come charging at you. One hit. Second one. Fifteen. No, eight. AC is eighteen. All right, and last one. <laughs> I duck it. Twenty-two hits. All right, I come back swinging the other direction. All right, eight damage. All right, it's bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, yeah. Is it your turn? That is my turn. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'm just standing there face to face with you. Just whacked you good with the uh, yeah. vicious warhammer. Yeah, you just like crack me in the face. I'm just like <laughs> grinning at you. I um, take out my massive axe and I just like pat it into my fist and just start like circling a little bit. <laughs> like, and then I remember like who you are exactly and just rage fills my fucking veins. Oh no. I take a, a swing at your knees, try and make you fall down. So I keep, I keep oh. my back to you as, as you circle me, but look, like looking over my shoulder. A okay. Bit. Yeah, I attack you from the front because we are both warriors of honor. But I am going to make a reckless attack, which means the next time you attack me, it's with advantage. Okay. So this is going to be fucking shit. Here we go. Oh, you're going to be kidding me. I rolled a two and a three. Does a 12 hit? <laughs> no, that's, no. That's so embarrassing. Just, as you like, start charging forward, just a, a bit of the, you realize this is not level, and you just, and then kind of like, you trip on like a, a little spare bolt that was lying on the ground. That's um, fucking humiliating. Yeah. You just stumble. You keep your keep your footing, but you're still <sighs> snarled. Okay, it's just, just a warm up. Crack, crack. And I go and like swing at the other direction. Even though you see me coming. That's a little better. 26. Oh, wow. That's not a crit. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, 26 to hit. Wow. All right. Almost like, like it was like a very skillful feint that she just pulled off where you mm -hmm. feel like she just she can't be this bad. And then, oh. All right. <laughs> That'll be 15 points of slashing damage, my man. Ooh. Yeah, that hurt. And like, we're just, just start, you come back face to face with me. You take one swing and then you slash me again, yeah. bleeding. I just like back up, like we're not even fully engaged. I'm like, is that the hardest you can hit? At this point, you start to hear some of the crowd, uh, kind of like, "Hi!" You hear the the that one dwarf, uh, "Hi!" What do you think? <laughs> Alright, we're taking odds. All right. Uh, the big one over there. <laughs> Which one? Ah, uh, good point. Uh, <laughs> let's put it uh, two to one for the green one. Wait a minute. No, I just made that man's hammer. Yeah, no, three to one on the... <laughs> three to one on shiny. Shiny. So, uh, is that your turn? That's you to... that's me. Go for okay. it. So Brunin turns and... No, he doesn't. <laughs> In his grave. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Fine pressure turns to the crowd. <laughs> and as he lifts up, tries to get the crowd going, grabs onto the hammer, twirls, does a 180, and takes another swing at a drag. <gasps> Before you roll your attack, roll a performance check for me, please. Ooh. How much? Six. Oh, yeah, no. All right, so nothing. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Straight All right, down. okay. So it doesn't get the crowd going. But yeah, I come back down at like a 45 degree angle, trying to slam back down on your Drexa. And this is with advantage, right? Oh, yeah. There's one, We're two, ro We're rolling high now. 23. That'll hit. All right. Oh. All right. There you go, there's seven damage. Okay. All right, I'm attack again. Get some. Ooh, not no, that was seven. I thought it was one. Okay, Fifteen, <laughs> so that misses. And then a third one. Um, oops, that was damaged. Didn't do that. There. Cool. Bad rolls. Ten misses again. Oh. Not my best round. <laughs> As uh, I think spine pressure is a little disappointed. That I wasn't able to get the crowd going. Yeah. I can't believe I used to be afraid. No, no, I was never afraid. But I can't believe I ever believed any of the stories I heard about you. 
I take another swing at your face. All right, that'll be. 25 to hit. Oh, that, yeah. Ouch. All right. All right. Eight points of slashing. Mm. For my extra attack, I'm going to make a frenzy attack, which means nothing to you yet, but it's going to suck okay. later. All right. I'll whirl around, feeling emboldened, swing at you again. 22 to hit. Wow. Jeez. Four, 12 points of slashing damage. Jeez. Oh. Spine Crusher's feeling a little worried. What, yeah. did he, what did he get? What did I get myself into? <laughs> Your go, boy. What stories did you hear about me? That's what I thought. Takes the hammer again. He's gonna take another swing at you. Thirteen with advantage. Oh, with advantage on this yeah. one as well. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna keep mm -hmm. going reckless with advantage. So you can too. Yeah. Oh, wow. So All right. That'll hit. All right. Twelve points of damage. Oof. Bludgeoning. I'll go again. So second one. Ooh. 27. <laughs> that fucking hits. You can go that high? God damn. Yeah. 12. Nice. Plus 12 points of damage. Yeah. All right. And then last one. So crack across the face, crack across the other <laughs> side of the face, brings it up, tries to bring it down on top of your head. All right. 13. So that one misses. <sighs> no bomb. With advantage. That one has advantage too? All of them do? Everything. Yeah, I'm going to keep hitting oh. recklessly. Yeah, everything's with advantage. Oh, they all do, so I've been doing that wrong. Okay, so 21 on that one. 21 hits. Okay. I'm crashing down on your head. 11 points bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Drax's bell you is kind of ringing. Me. I don't quit. Elbow you in the face. Try and take another swing with my axe. That was, that'll hit. But a crit will be even better. Fucking 29. Oh, no. Not 29. 20, baby. Oh, That's another reckless attack. So okay. re-up those advantages. Here we go. That'll Drag be... Oh, no, that's not good. Day. 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. Hey. Um, extra attack will be <laughs> 26 to hit. Oh, man. For 15 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then for my frenzy attack, which now kicks in this round. 2d8. Let's see if this hits first before I do it. Oh fuck, I'm so sorry, oh, Mike. That's no. another nat 20. Oh, another shit. nat 20? Holy yeah. shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you see, like, I quickly whip around, and as I do, my axe starts to glow like a super bright blue. Yeah. And you're gonna get hit with um, unexpected radiant damage for 17 plus how many? Two eight? Can I ask, I like is, is that a magical effect? Ah, uh, is it? It's a divine effect. Good question. I'm looking. I'm looking. It's thunder damage, but I don't know. I guess, like, no. All right, so if it's not magical, then, yeah, you take the damage. Okay. But again, being being a knight of Prushtok wearing the armor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't even remember that, too, because I'm raging. But yeah, I think it's okay. Um, you're not a creature, right? No. That's not how it works. I'm a humanoid. All right, so you take uh, 17 points of slashing, 5 points of thunder damage, and as I make contact with your armor, like, you just hear a... <laughs> like, thunder ringing out. 22 points total? Yes. Holy shit. Okay. Is that your turn? Please say it. Was that was that three? One, two, three? 
That was three, right? Attack, or reckless attack. Reckless, frenzy. Yeah, yeah, and now I'm like dancing on my feet, trying to avoid you, but you can still go with right. advantage. Cool, so I'm going to uh, use my second wind. Once for short rest, short rest, I can use a bonus oh, action to gain 1d10 fighters. So 1d10. I ain't here, no bell. <laughs> yes. All right, good one. So 24 back to me. Nice. Oh, shit. It's been 24 plus. Oh, I, should, I didn't do that right either. So 24 plus 9. I can't do math at all. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, so I'm going to. Same deal. I'm going to take my. Take the. Uh, th this time I'm just going to try to smash you in the face with it instead <laughs> of like hitting you with it. Okay. Pop you right in the face. <laughs> with advantage. With advantage. Come on, I'm looking for that at 20. God, neither of them hit. Mm. So 12. <laughs> All right, so advantage again. Come on, man, come on. As you're just like dodging them, all misses. 15 on that last one. You look tired. Do you need to take a rest? I do not need to rest. You can stop. You can stop if you want. 20 on that last one. That'll hit. All right, do the damage. Okay, 13. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna use my action surge to take one additional action on my turn. That scares me. Be used one oh, time for a short rest, and I exhaust that too. You um, are gonna. Oh, jeez. All right, same deal. So I try to. Um, I'm gonna try to sweep your legs out by doing like a 360 spin and trying to knock out your knees with my warhammer. Cool. Advantage still, right? Oh yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen points of damage or nineteen to hit? Nineteen to hit. That'll hit. Alright, there. Alright, so seven damage. Nice. I'm gonna take another swing at you. <sighs> Aiming for your stomach this time. So Twelve on the first one. Twenty. Uh twenty to hit. That'll hit. Alright, and another one. We're gonna be here for a minute. I know. Maybe not. Twelve damage. Trax is looking oh, pretty hurt. Damage. She's Take looking pretty hit. fucking hurt, yeah. Good. All right, and last one. Oh, God. Okay, 13 on the first roll. You oh, can right-click for advantage. Unlucky. Oh, you can? Yeah. There you go. Okay, good to know. Um, oh, I didn't know all these options were in here. Cool. All right, so that was... I did not hit you on that last one. Okay. Because I missed you with the last hit. You still... And that is... Yeah. Hmm? You still swept my legs out from underneath me. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, that's my turn. All right. Like, uh, I climb back to my feet. My face is looking like, like super swollen with one, like, one black eye. Take another swing with my, uh, my axe. Mm -hmm. 26 to hit. Oh, geez, you're getting the high rolls. Yeah, that hits. Oh, shitty damage roll, though. Only five points of slashing damage. Okay. Extra attack. This is reckless, by the way. I just considered all reckless because that's how I roll. Um, 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Four. Seven points of slashing damage? That's so shitty. And then uh, I gotta take one more swing at your side and as I do, you see this like shimmering field kind of like appear in front of me. Mm. I'm gonna draw shield of faith for plus two AC. Oh, gosh. Oh. All right. So last attack is going to be... Roll, Daniel. It's almost another... Oh, God, it was another nat 20. What? I'm so glad it's in fan... Or, uh, d, &D Beyond, because it would sound like yeah. I'm making this shit up. Sorry, brother. All right, let's see if I make it. All right, four... You all know. 18 points of slashing damage. Holy shit. All right. Oh, Coughing up blood. How you looking? I'm coughing up blood. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Get out a tooth on the ground. Why don't you take off that armor? 
Spine Crusher looks down at his armor, the white armor of the Knights of Kruishtok, kind of streaked in blood currently. Perhaps it's time. Was that your turn? Yeah. Are you done? That's it. Bad. Time for you to die. Alright. <laughs> <So he's> got... <laughs> Show me right, what so you got, he... boy. Use that advantage roll. Here we go. Roll. Gosh. 16. Uh, now my AC's right. up to 20 because of Shield of Faith, yeah. so sorry. Yeah. Here we go. Second one. Just give me one nat 20. 19. Oh. Does it hit? Jeez. Last one. Eighteen. So sorry. Oh. Shield of Faith like robbed you on that one. As I take uh -huh. that last one of you, you pulls out something cool, the other one pulls out another cool thing I've never seen before. <laughs> As I take that last swing, I miss, and Spine Crusher just falls to his knees. Feeling a little, uh, a little worn. You're a knight of Krustok. This is what Krustok sends his best and his brightest. This? I cannot believe I was ever afraid of you. Let me take another swing at you. Oh, gosh. Ooh, both fours. 13 to hit. All right, misses. <laughs> Drax is panning a little bit. <laughs> like, trying to act like she's still totally in it, but... She's squeezing a bit. Okay. No swing. With advantage. Oh no. 19 to hit. Oh, it hits. All right. Four. Ten points of slashing. Hit him out. Oh. No. <sighs> oh, man. Falls forward, face splats on the ground with blood. Falls down, you hear, uh, you hear the dwarf, uh, you know, artificer yell. Wow! All right, well, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll pay up here, yeah. I'm hands over a coin purse. At this point, you know, you hear like a couple of cheers <laughs> from some of the others. Um, a s slow clap from uh, Wellico over the Vena. I uh, I stop smiling. My rage like subsides, like I come back to consciousness, and I put my axe back on my back. And Adraxa just looks disappointed. She turns to Zara. You want to let this thing travel with us? I didn't bring him back here. That's on you. At this point, one of the, uh, was it Colbert Ring? Or no, not Colbert. No, uh, Gene Salton comes up. I don't think there's many who can probably take that kind of a beating. As long as he did. Oh, I have to make my first death saving throw yet. Uh, let's yeah. not let him die. <laughs> <laughs> or, or do. I mean, that'd be some shit. I don't like this fighter. Roll a new one, Mike. <laughs> yeah, like new one. I'm gonna yeah. keep killing them until you find one stronger than me. <laughs> Suddenly, yeah, barbarian, barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of rage going on in this room. All right. Yeah. I'll uh. I'll wipe some of my own blood off on myself, and then I will use Lay on Hands to restore 15 hit points. I get down on one knee and put my hand on Spine Crusher's chest and just... I always wanted to see if that would work. Are you dead? You fought well. And you. Extend my hand to shake yours arm, body resting on one arm on the ground. Puts up his arm to shake your hand. It pull you to your feet. Spine Crusher takes a swing at you with his left hand. Uh, Sucker Punch? Sucker Punch. Do it! How do I do it? Roll an attack! Just unarmed yeah. attack? Alright. Unarmed attack. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. And she catches yeah. your hand. Oh my god. And then you have a free uh, free attack if you choose to take it. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and act like he's just woozy from coming to him. Like, oh, there, 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 you'll be all right. And I, like, force your arm around my shoulders like, you'll be okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna take another swing. Get a load of this guy. Yeah. I was 
Sorry, it was a twitch. Thank you. You f you fight very well. That was not your first battle. <sighs> Let's get some I sleep. Uh, is there, is somewhere... there anything? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, is there any... No, I was gonna say there's. I mean, there's places you could like makeshift bunks and places where people have more or less just put like cleared out spaces throughout the Exodus, just setting aside uh you know bed rolls and things. So yeah, you you can absolutely find somewhere to you know to go to sleep if you choose. Let's make camp here. Safety in numbers. Sounds good to me. I could use the rest. <sighs> I mean, I can I can stay up <laughs> all night. I'm fine. I'm not fine. Yeah, but, you know, if, if you want to like look terrible, <laughs> like I can't actually tell which of you I'm talking to through my swollen eyes. I'm fine. <laughs> blood blood streaming from uh, spine crusher's mouth. It's like a string of drool. Gross. Is that my blood or your blood? I think that's my blood. <laughs> okay. So, um, you guys go to sleep. Uh, it passes on eventually. Long rest, then, up. please. Long rest. Yes. A long please rest, uneventfully. Like... Thank God. You awaken in the exodus. And soon enough, you kind of... Uh, you awaken to the sounds of people hammering. Uh, sounds of, you know, portable saws just carving through metal. People are already starting to scrap the exodus as much as they can because there's nothing else can really be used for aside from my temporary shelter. And there's more... There's an entire city of shelter right now. So... Um, again, you have a mission. The question is, how do you choose to go about it? They wanted us out in the waste, right? To investigate, like, the, the wall and how we can climb it? Am I remembering that right? I'm sorry. What? Yeah, so what they had asked you to do was to venture out into what would be the wastes um, back in, you know, the mundane world, on the mundane plane. But they want you to go and... Uh, try and find out a few things. One, scout the area, find out if anyone is a threat out there. Two, see if you can find some sort of equivalent to high ground where you can use magic without it being something that would impede. Uh, the, something that's preventing the city from working. Like looking or for from, cell service? From, pretty much, you're looking for cell service, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, the other side of it is uh, find out if there's a way to make a safe path for everyone to be able to get there so that they can set up a permanent teleportation circle cross planar at that, which is just extra hard. So um, you again have some choices as to if you choose to bring any uh, company, if you want to try and travel there more directly using, say, some sort of assistance from the herbs that you found at the glass hearth. You can try to bring the uh, rewired first legion bots from the vanguard. You can try and search still throughout the city for the Farragandali knights. Uh, or you can, again, just head out. You can take the, you can ask to take the, uh, the scarab, the uh, airship, you can also try and see if they have any modified speeders uh, that they, you could uh, take. So you have choices. I mean, I already have the key to the scarab, so don't need to ask. <laughs> we, we should walk. I'd walk. Oh. We could borrow some speeders. Yeah, I got all the way out there on a speeder yesterday. I don't particularly want to walk it. So the only thing I will say is that a speeder does make a good bit of noise from a distance, so that when scouting, you may need to abandon them at some point. It'll at least get you far and out enough of the waste, but you would be seen 
from a good distance off. How, we, we don't know how navigable the pass is. We don't know if the speeder will would suffice there. You just want to keep looking for your cohort. I'm not taking them. <laughs> also, yeah. the speeders are fun. Speeders are fun. Very I well. think I'm getting a better at flying it. Maybe? I'm not sure. You are still I alive. Think, I think you're a lot more comfortable with it at this point. Not to mention, you've been given, you specifically have been given uh, driving lessons. Yes. Yes, for, that's right, from a certain Mr. Atinas. Yeah. Um, yes. Rolled really well on them as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you are much more, you're probably the, out of anyone on this current squad, yeah, you are the best at uh, driving. So, either you can ask for a single speeder that's modified to, like the ones that they used that were modified to have two sidecars, mm -hmm. or you can, each of you, try and request requisition your own personal speeder. Granted, it might be a little bit difficult to convince, more, it'll be more difficult to convince them to go with three separate speeders than one modified one. We should just take one big one and Zara, you should drive. You are the most nimble. I do have the smallest hands. I do not know how to drive them. I think that is the best option. Oh god, it's gonna be it's I got, I just love the idea of like seeing Zara, like, you know, little tiefling surrounded by two big tanks on either side with a war hammer and an axe. I, I imagine just, us in like two giant people in tiny sidecars with like our knees up to our chins, just <laughs> scowling. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, all right. So, do me a favor. Who's who's doing the talking and trying to, or are you just trying to find one and head out? Your choice. How do you go about getting a uh, speeder? I you can ask you to acquire one. Um, actually, no. Maybe um, I I asked someone right. yesterday to borrow one and they let me. Maybe uh, I should ask again. They give you trouble. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah. Any trouble in spine crusher will just drop like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you go and ask someone? Yeah, I'm going to ask someone for a speeder. Right. To borrow a speeder for the day. You see so the, you know, you just see the dwarf's legs and they're just poking out from underneath of, uh, you know, what looks like an access panel. God, I this. Hang on. Reg! Oh, the hell's that boy? Oh. <laughs> Oi, oh, you're not him. What the hell's he off to then? I told him to get here with a light and he... I... Well, here, can you have me that wrench there? Yeah, of course. Here you go. I right, think uh, this is the right one. Uh, no, that, that, that'd be a screwdriver. Um, oh. the, the thing that... Uh, I'll get it. He reaches over, just grabs something that doesn't look anything like a wrench. But okay. For a dwarf, yeah. Um, all right, so you, uh, well, uh, well, what do you, what do you want? Um, could we rent out a speeder again, like I did yesterday? Rent out? Ah, uh, 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 sure, sure. Um, let's say uh, twenty silver. Twenty silver. Ah, oh, as a deposit, I if you're gonna yeah, rent that's it. Fine. Yeah. It would have All given right. it to you for free. Insight check. It's 20 silver. Go ahead, roll, roll an insight check. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm not. Did um, you steal Brunin's money? No, all my inheritance is in the Feather House. <laughs> I'm the only one that has money? Yeah. El 11. 20. 11? 20. Yeah, um, Drax, you're like, 20 seems reasonable. Uh, Spine Crusher, you're thinking, he wouldn't have said, why should you use the word rent? <laughs> um, yeah. So, I right, twenty silver is what, of course. Jokes on him. Come We're on. definitely going to wreck this thing. Yeah. I right, know that's why I'm asking for the money for the deposit. Oh my god. You... Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm going to be the one driving it. Oh, hi. I feel a lot better knowing that. <laughs> the great big pillows on either side of you. Oh my God. Hey, at least it'll be balanced, right? Six minutes we're gonna get off the ground. All right. All right, balanced. Although there's an argument as to which one of these was uh, 
Oh, that might be a lean in, depending on which which one of you sits on the left. Might be a little lean in after last night's show. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyways, it's just me saying. Uh, um, yeah, twenty. Here you go. Exchange done. Here you are. Here's the uh, key. He hands you like a small crystal. Okay. All right. Well, be off. And okay. if you see that boy, tell him when I have his fucking <laughs> scalp. All right. So. How much? You do, head off. How much does Spine Crusher weigh? Out of curiosity. Um. One sec. I'm just wondering. He's big. He's like really big. I'm wondering which way uh, we're gonna list. <laughs> yeah. I uh. There's a, I know I put it in here because I think he weighs like like 325 pounds. So with the Drax is 260, will this speeder get off the ground? <laughs> Oh my god. It's modified, you never know. I think I used to carry like five people in these. So yeah, 240 pounds, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, so three of us, this should this should work. Right? Yeah, what alright, so just just let's just do the math real quick. I don't think it'll be an issue, but two sixty something plus three forty. Forty. Mm-hmm. Plus Zara, what are you? I don't know. You're probably what, like... 150, 160? I don't yeah. know. Alright, you're fine. Well, unless my horns weigh a lot. I don't know how much... Do you no, no, no. Do you're good. You guys are good. <laughs> but... It does... The word speeder doesn't necessarily apply so well. We're like a cruiser. Best, <clears throat> you're a cruiser right now. <laughs> it's like when you're driving like a minivan full of people and it handles completely different. It's, yeah, very much so. Um... They've definitely modified this thing out. So but just, yeah, there's, there's the tur you find that the turns are exceptionally hard to make right now. Um, so as long as you kind of like have to like you plan your route so that you're almost like tacking a little bit, like you know just pick a way to go and then you're just gonna go straight as long as you can. You make your way eventually around the edge of the seabed north of the city, until you get to a point where you have to circle back around where the ocean was, to kind of go round about the wall. Oh, Zara, pick um, up the bots, okay? Pick up the bots? Yeah, okay. the first legion. I don't know if they're all fit in a speeder. Ah, uh, they're small. They will not. They so will. right now, yeah, the speeder itself is outfitted to carry you three. It's not built to carry more than that. So you can have the, you can lead them while they walk behind you, but it's going to be like a knight on horseback walking while, uh, you know, the soldiers are all just... Are they humanoid size? Yeah. All right, so we can't like rope them all together and drag them. Can we drag them behind us? You I, could. I'd like to. Um, Again, not the stealthiest approach, but you certainly can. Yeah. <laughs> Just <rattle>. married. <laughs> clang clang clang. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, so what are we gonna do? I want to take them just to see, you know. Great. At this point, the speeders have taken you the bulk of the way that would have been oh, okay. tedious to walk, right? From here, you can see like there's probably about another maybe two miles or so away. So you probably have about an hour and a half, two hour uh, walk away to, you know, to get to where you think is the area, like the general area they want you to investigate. What do you say you want to take the bots? Yeah, we can test out the bots. Alright, when we get to where we left the bots, I want to very cautiously put on my weird robot crown and see if I can wake them up. Weird robot crown. Mind Crush is very distrusting of them. Yeah, so is Adraxa. I saw what he did on the battlefield, as did you. Well, don't forget I have this. And I show him the uh, self-destruct control. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know what? If they do a good job, bad job, I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, oh, I like that. So what happens yeah. when I uh, try and, like... Uh, you place it on, and within kind of a limited 
view. Um, okay, so first I'm going to need you to make a make an intelligence check. Oh, none of us could do this. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. It's difficult at first, but mm, you soon enough start to become accustomed to seeing sort of this flickering of vision that takes you from seeing what one of the vanguard sees to another to another, sort of cycling back and forth, and then soon enough it becomes this strange sort of feeling of seeing everything, but it's also kind of overlaid over your own vision, so it gets to the point that you want to, you end up closing your own eyes, but then you can see when you do that, you start to be able to more easily envision in your mind, like seeing in a dream, this strange, impossible feeling of being able to see through multiple sets of eyes, different perspectives all at once. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. I don't... I'm looking at myself. Well, I'm looking at myself over there and there and there. I don't... As, you raise, as you raise your arms, you start to get the... You see in some of the images, some of the different disparate images, arms raise up like, oh, this is weird. Just as you're moving. Oh. Oh, that's really Oh, I don't know if I can do this. That's really weird. Make an, make an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> Come on, plus zero. Oh, no. That was a two. I'm gonna use my inspiration to okay. try and not, uh, you know, bleed spinal fluid from my nose. Fourteen. Okay. Yep. Yeah. With a 14, you kind of like growl and sort of the barbarian in you says, I can do this. And then you immediately kind of force yourself to deal with it. And eventually you, okay, this is weird. And yet I can do it. It's just, you know what? Stand in formation. You bark in your mind. And then you see the soldiers. And you realize... It's no different. The only thing is you don't even have to yell. You just have to think, like, the feeling of yelling. And they'll listen to your command. I like the feeling of yelling. <laughs> um, so you guys just see, like, I try and tell them to start doing jumping jacks. <laughs> they start doing it. All right. Off the distance to your right, you hear... Um... And then you look, and surely enough, there are uh, five vanguard soldiers with a bit of, like, what looks like a, a, a tangled coil of wires. Almost looks like Spanish moss growing on them at first sight, and then you realize it's just this tangle uh, where they've... kind of The engineers from the brass tower have, have desperately sort of either just ripped out what they could or try to rewire things and made an awful mess of it. No braiding or, or weaving of it at all. Just kind of everything's left out to dangle. Sloppy work, but again, they're on a rush. Mm -hmm. You know, so you find these uh, five vanguards and they are doing jumping jacks continuously. This is, this is the weirdest thing I've ever done. This is weird. All right. I tell him to fall in behind me. And then they, soon enough, fall in into a similar grid-like formation that you saw. All right. So strange. All right, let's march. But quietly. Quietly. Okay, but but faster. <laughs> so it's it's equivalent to just stealth checks for them. It's equivalent to heavy plate. So it's just going to be a disadvantage no matter what. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. You guys begin to march out uh, into the wastes, heading out. Okay. Uh. First of all, let's get two things: a stealth check from everyone. And a perception check from everyone. So first stealth. And I'll roll for the... Oh. That, okay. That's mortifying. 
disadvantage. They got a 19 and a 17, so. Oh, I rolled. I rolled for them. Yeah, they they rolled a, a 19 for me with a disadvantage, but a tracks are rolled a six. Gotcha. So <laughs> they are quieter than you. You just at some point, you just you're hearing in your head all these little bleep bloops, and you just uh, growl. The growl echoes. <sighs> quiet. 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 Okay. You get to a point, um, and this is where I think you should probably bring up the map. Oh boy! As Ooh. we are now, I think, starting to explore a little. You guys get to a point along the wall where you see, from from a distance, it looks like it's one, you know, one sheer face across the entire thing, unbroken. This massive upward stretch of abalone like shell um, but up close you can see there's actually narrow ridges and winding tracks in this from above you were able to see something more similar right the sort of fractal like nature of this world you're familiar with the bone vaults you're familiar with the winding tunnels the again very very narrow passes through which you can walk in front of you, you sense one such passage. Uh, investigation check. Or perception, depending on. So, just a reminder. So, spine crushers from the mountains. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, given yeah, given the terrain, I'd say, yeah, advantage for you. What do you say? Perception check or... Investigation. Do we have a map up yet? Yeah. It, oh, yeah. Sorry. One it's, second. It's just gone for me now. So, Here. I might need to load again. Trying to sh oh. Yeah, I'm trying to load it again. Let me know if you can see it. Something loaded. I got a grid. Alright. Alright. Should we... What's that? Nine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I got a 24 on perception. Okay. Um, doesn't quite feel like the mountains you're used to. No pines or really hills. It's just slip, like steep faces. Mm -hmm. Closest thing you can think of is that there are parts near the you know, near the eastern passes of Fergendal that lead into Flowheld, where it's somewhat like this, but no, nowhere near so narrow as these passes are. Um, yeah, with a 24, um, you think you hear something off in the distance. What way? It, within the pass itself. Oh. Could be a voice, could be footsteps, you're not quite sure. It's faint. Trax is not paying attention, she's just like focused on making these, these metal men go. Okay. Yeah. Well, how, I'd say it's probably been... It's probably been, again, like I said, closer to two hours at this point, so at this point it's le it feels less like something you have to focus on as much as like you've kind of gotten used to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's not taking as much of a conscious effort. It's sort of... It's still weird, but it's something that you're able to do. So picture a Draxa, you know, roller skating <laughs> or something, right? Like, she's gotten... I do like picturing she, at, that. <laughs> at first, it was like, Whoa, this is weird and I don't like it, but now she's moving around the rink. Ain't, you know, ain't no disco queen, but she's on the rink. All right. Um, now I've got Abba stuck in my head. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's my next fan art. Let me. Can you guys see the map yet or no? Uh, Not yet. yet. No. Not Did yet you? for you. Wait, is it all um, masked by any oh, chance? Right. Uh, up. Go to the very top of it. You should be able to see at the very top. I don't see anything. No. no Nothing. Yeah, anything. No. I could see it before we started streaming, but now it's gone. All right, hold on. Let me try one more time because the mask thing is being a pain. Yeah, it's this not. This doesn't work. Again, let me do this then. It's not saying loading, so I feel like it might just be masked. Yeah, maybe oh, undo the mask and then do it again. There, very top center. Can you see it at all? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, go ahead, drag your tokens onto the map up there at the entrance. Gladly. 
Oh wait, can we drag our tokens out? No. No. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Give me a moment. Oh. Thank you. No. I don't know, I'll just right. use that if that's alright. Well, Brunin, get out of there. I know, I'm so sorry. Stop oh. hurting my heart. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Alright, and I will throw on some more um, tokens as well. Um, Mike, just so I know, what's your HP currently? Um, my computer just freeze up. Um, my current HP, you just want me yeah. to message it to you? Yeah, that's fine. Cause it, yeah, I don't need to. You don't have to do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, I'll, I'm going to leave the things off of the map for now because it's just going to be a pain. So, when you walk forward, it takes a little while of going through, entering into the pass, uh, the draft that you feel. It's the first kind of bit of wind that you're feeling here in the snare. So it does kind of give you a sense of being drawn in. Um, in front of you, you see passageways leading uh, straight left and right. There's nothing to give you any kind of indication of which direction the draft is coming from. It's just sort of howling about. What do the ends of the passageways look like? You'd have to walk to find out. As, again, one of the strange things about this entire realm is the way that the mist sort of flows and undulates over and down. So there's it's, mist. Yeah, the mist at this point is starting, is almost feels like the mist, the waves start to press down more in this passageway. So it's a little bit obscure. Not not impossible to see, but enough to where like you can't see all the way down to the very end from here. I don't like this mist. I can't see anything. Nor I. Uh, I take a swing at the mist with my hammer just to like try to move it about a little bit. Swirls. Nothing. Uh -huh. If this is your first encounter with the God of Madness, then you must be vigilant. Do you understand? This is what will keep you alive. Vigilant. Got it. Look sharp, boy. Yeah. Straight. Left. Right. Spine Crusher marches forward and goes straight. <sighs> Send send the bots you guys after. You don't him. have to follow. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Adraxa will Fine will put. Fine I'll send the bots to like um follow you, and then I'll take the tail. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the bot tokens off of the map for now, so let's just for the sake of brevity and everything, we'll assume that they're we following you guys around. Okay. Okay. All right. So, you, yeah, you march forward. Um, you see a long, the, the hallway kind of like goes forward, bends a bit. Does it feel like we're inside or outside? Um, make a nature check. All right. Five. Five. I, nothing makes sense here. Any kind of metaphors that you try to rely on start to fall apart. Can Spine Crusher do a quick inspection of like these lattice working things that are on the side here? Yes. Uh, make make an investigation check for me. Six. Six? Um, rub your hand on it, and it feels, strangely enough, as you touch the stone, part of it seems to almost recoil, like Carl. 
not that kind of <laughs> yeah not that kind like abalone or one of those things right yeah anemones that's it, it thick but it's thick and still feels like stone like rock but it's a strange feeling of something recoiling that should be dead and it just gives you this Creepy chilling feeling, feeling. yeah i step okay. back over towards the Draxa and, and, and zara and the rest of the crew Hey, is this giving me any creepy dream vibes? Uh, make a history check. Fifteen. Yes. Yes. Oh, cool, yeah. Uh, okay, this, this is definitely tied to Mirishal, then. It, Good enough. It looks familiar to you, I would say. Um, okay. At your feet, you notice that the ground itself looks like shards of almost like decomposed brittle pieces of splinters of bone. It's unsettling. It's fine enough that the detail is lost where you can't quite be sure that any of it actually is bone. It could just be like walking on oyster shells or, or just maybe the stone here is like that. But there's just something about the look of it it's unsettling for any of you who have seen war i know how to find out if they're own oh, um if you lick it and it sticks to your tongue then it's a piece of bone of course you know that eh. is that what zara does why not does zara know that <laughs> okay um triple dog daring yourself yeah. you pick up a piece of bone like a little piece and lick it and the bone is bone okay as cool, i've just yep, said yep. you pick up a piece of bone yeah um yeah you quickly you find doing? out as you yeah it sticks a little and just rocks don't stick to your tongue only bones do how do you know that should i be worried <laughs> i don't know she knows out a of lot character of the shit. answer is yes <laughs> i will call so. you bone licker do, bone do not lick. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 That's no, no, I won't do that. <laughs> nope. Can I, I'm yeah. just going to pivot. Um, is, Can I get any sense of which way is ascending? Oh, it all feels somewhat level here at this point in the entrance. Okay. Do I see anything up ahead? Um, you keep going a little bit more. Um, yeah, you actually do see. It looks like a faint glow, almost like ember. Mm -hmm. um, the ground itself, there's a bit of... It looks like burning, almost. You're not sure if there was a campfire here recently or if there's something underneath the ground that just kind of emanates heat. So Spine Crusher is going to take few steps forward to it and like put his foot out like he's like testing the solid you know how solid the ground is here right at the spot um it feels like yeah it feels like uh almost like a campfire was here recently hmm. so you're not sure who could have been here but someone found their way into these passes so it looks like ash. It's like a it's a campfire. campfire yeah, like you, and what you can tell is that it looks like it was very recent, given that there's still like a few, a, like kind of like a few coals that are still a little bit orange. So it was within an hour, maybe less. Someone was here recently. I'm gonna go invest. Wait, can I see? Are the coals hot? Yeah. Okay, cool. As you go to you know reach your hand over them, you can feel the heat. Right. It's definitely yeah. Can I look for tracks of who was here? Uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Can I make a survival check? Mm, I would say in this case, no, because you're not hunting, you're not tracking, you're just... Just looking? An investigation, just kind of like looking through. Okay, yeah. 13. Okay. Um, here, it's probably a little too faint. You can't quite tell if they went right or left back up ahead. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell what kind of tracks they are? Like, what humanoid monster no given the kind of the given the dust and um bone it's just it's not quite 
It's it's just very hard to tell. Okay. But you wow. kind of like poke your head down to try and see if you can look past the mist, but it just even down below it's thick, you know, like fog, and it's just hard to make sense. It's very difficult to track here. So spine crush is just gonna like kick kick uh, sift through <laughs> the the ash a little bit with his foot just to see if there's anything unique about this fire. Uh, see anything in there? Yeah, make another investigation check. Twenty, not twenty. Not twenty. Okay. Um, you do find one moment. Do me a favor and roll a D one hundred. Me? All right. Yeah. Eighty two. Eighty two. Why? Looking through, that's okay. Looking through, you actually uh, find half of a, a a bit of parchment rolled up there, covered in the ashes. Um, you pull it out, and it looks to be half of a floor plan for what could be a temple, a castle, uh, some other kind of structure. You're not quite sure what to make of it, but it's only half. Mm. It's not burned at all. It's just in there, but not singed or anything. It looks like it was torn in half. Yeah. But not covered, like, kind of like, you know, maybe dropped in a hurry or mixed among the ashes. Yeah. Could be that someone was looking to use that as kindling and maybe discarded in a hurry as they left the campfire. Or it could be that it was deliberately left behind. You're not quite sure. It's a floor plan. Part of one, at least. No, I... Spine Crusher rolls it up and puts it in his, in his bag. Yeah. What? How high are the walls? Can we tell? Or is it just mist too high to tell too? It goes up and up and up. Are the walls climbable at all? Um, You can try, yeah. You can try and make, uh, make an athletics check. All right. Sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. Okay. Um, you start getting fairly high up, almost to that feeling of like when you're climbing a tree and you look down and it's that's a little high. I uh you're not quite comfortable there. Can and I you see? realize it's not really it even like looking up, you're not getting above the mist. It just seems like it's just goes upwards and upwards, like a straight sheer wall. No, I feel uh, it kind of like moving under my hands too. It's creepy as hell. Yeah, it's almost like you're grabbing tufts of, like, strands of an enemy that are made out of slate. Yeah. I, I drag to just... <clears throat> you start climbing down and slide a little bit. Yeah. Um, you make it down. All okay. right. There's two more ways to go. Do you want me to send one, one of the bots to scout? Not a bad idea. Probably wise. I will go with them. You will go with them? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. uh, east or west, based on the map, so I know, because you guys basically right or left. Uh, based on the map, we're, I'm going to... We're just... Move, spine, crush, yeah. spine Crusher, move your token where you and the bots are going. Uh-huh. Sorry, I'll let go of him. Oh, oh okay, no worries. Um... Well, I'm, I'm I'm kind of following the bots at this point. I'm standing next to them. I'm letting the Draxa control them this time. Right. I'll go which direction they want to go. I'm going to send them east on the map, so that way. Okay. I'm going to try and tell them to be stealthy. <laughs> Keep it down. Okay. Soon enough, you come across another diverging path. It forks left or right. To the north, you can see a large spatter of blood uh, puddled behind it, footprints. To the right, you see another hall. Okay. Well, you gotta follow the, the trail of blood, right? I mean, yeah. You gotta. Yeah, you, you gotta. 
You got it. Okay. Okay. You guys are kind of far back at this point, so I don't yell back that there's blood or anything. Yeah, I can see it, so I'll just like oh, whisper right. to Zara, like, there's Let's a tree go. with blood on it. Is it dried? Is it wet? You reach down, touch it. It's one finger, to kind of swipe through it. Mm -hmm. Pull up your finger. It's red. Oh. oh my god, I'm my Starfinder mechanic with a drone <laughs> right now. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Um... Okay, do you continue down the, the Hall of Blood? Yeah, hell yeah. Bloody okay. Hall. Um, wow. is, how hard is it for me to split the bots up? You can uh, make an intelligence check. Yeah. <laughs> so very. Eight. You try to, and one of them walks into a wall. Huh. Creates a good bit of noise. Make a stealth check with disadvantage. <laughs> Hey, get back in line. Seven. Okay. Um, you hear um, someone uh, kind of call out something that the the tone of the voice sounds strange, but you hear, oh, all right, come on. Who heard that? Just a track um, I would say you heard that. Coming from the path of the Hall of Blood. Um, Spine Crusher pulls out his, uh, his... Pulls out his, uh, crossbow. Okay. And is just kind of folding it up as he's looking down. It was the hall to the right, you said? Yeah, uh, the one with the blood. With yeah, the blood to right. the left, okay. He's kind of, yeah. like, squinting his eyes, trying to get a better look. I'm going to try and send one of the bots in that direction while leaving the rest behind. What okay. happens? The bot continues uh, and sees that there's a long trail of footprints. Uh, but it kind of bends around, doesn't really get to the corner. Mind Keep going. Follows. Okay. Should we start following them okay. too? Soon enough, you see another puddle of blood. Uh, bloody handprints in front of it uh, and it looks like this one was pulled backwards um, dragged you can see that someone tried running as fast as they could, seemed to have fallen and then was pulled back no alright I'll send my solo bot quietly ahead okay, um, yeah Ash and Zara, are you guys all way back there still? Yeah, we're chilling by like the f the first okay. fork, like like over here. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. It's gonna be hard to catch up if something goes down. Do I um? So th there's footprints on the ground. Can I discern if they are humanoid? How many sets there are? See, right now you see two sets of footprints, humanoid. Okay. Leave. So that means. This means there's. At least three people here. We owe this man nothing. If he dies, so be it. Alright, have the bot quietly keep going. Uh, continues going. Uh, soon enough, you see. It's a bit more for you. You see where the footprints kind of fade out to where you don't see any blood anymore. But you do see this strange, pinkish, soft-looking change to the bone-like wall. Um, it starts to become this bit much more red-looking uh, coloring, right? You also see what looks like obsidian along the floor, carved, like kind of like growing up along the walls. It's unsettling, to say the least. Like basalt columns, hexagonal and jagged. Uh, among them, more flat platforms where you can see ridges of the same pinkish, almost alive looking material, for lack of a better word. It just seems like the stone itself is alive in places. This is horrible. Not... No. Um, and then below you can see uh, well, you can see there's a few things. Uh, down below you can see there actually is another part where there seems to be what looks like the remains of a fire um, burnt out. 
Uh, not so much a campfire as much as it looks like uh, someone may have tried to cast fireball or something, and it looks like there's a bit that was burnt now. Um, perception check. Um, spine crusher. Okay. And I'll say with advantage, as there's not really as much mist over here anymore, as it's starting to it clears up as you get about this point. So eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um, with that, you hear, um, kind of off to the right. Or to your left, sorry. Um, you see there's sort of an opening outwards. And at that point, one second. Look and see. Well, do you do you go out and look? Yes or no? Um, like, kind of you peek or no? I'm curious you. about this Amer area immediately around me first. Okay. So the area to the right, you said it's like kind of bloody, but not it's not like blood that's pulled there. It seems like it's part of the living tissue of this thing. Yes, so yeah. sort of like the, again, it's not like there's a layer of algae just sitting on top of the stone that's, like, blood-colored. Yeah. It like it's seems it. like the stone itself, like the, the very, like the cave itself, the structure of this passage, whatever it is, this it is a living world. Organic somehow. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, uh, so, go ahead. Okay. Ugh. If I may, um, when we were in the Nine Hells, we experienced other planes like jutting through into our plane, and one of them was like a flesh plane. Does it look like that looked, or does it just look like the world is alive around us? Make a history check. Uh, with advantage for you, specifically. Oh, thank you. Because I'm the only survivor left. 17. Okay. Um, what it reminds you of is not from when you were in the Nine Hells and everything, but when you were back at Nimejev Felize, the, the fortress of the hunger that hates, right? That used to be where you first found the wand of the Vigda Voltregrin. Um, you recall a part, a point where the ascendants in those catacombs down below, when they were, when there was a sudden tear that this sort of being of flesh yes you know monstrosity just monstrosities and like sort of arms like giant cricket legs and hooks and pincers and scythes and cats of nine tails everything just started tearing out of this and grabbing and lashing at whatever it could find just this universe of flesh of hate that was sealed. Um, this is the closest thing to what it reminds you of, but you're not quite sure. Neat. Um, anyways, overall, in consideration of that, this looks mostly dead compared to the very much... I mean, yes, compared to your own world, this entire place looks alive, right? Like this, the earth itself looks alive here, but compared to what you saw there, this is an empty shell made with a few fragments of tissue. I relay everything I'm seeing to Zero. Okay. Um, Spine Crusher, you peek out, and at the moment you look out, what you see, one second, is it, the closest thing you could think of, at first thought, is, is that a boat? Um, as you look at it, what you see is, one second, oh, well, let me know when you can see that. Oh, shit. Or if you prefer, I can just paste it in the chat. That too is fine. It's still loading. All right, but at least it's loading. Yeah. Give it a couple more seconds. Yeah, why don't you paste it in the chat? We'll yeah, we'll, we'll see which we, which we can get first. No race. My money's on Discord, so. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate it. All right. Yeah. You see a figure um, kind of there, and he seems to be calling out to what looks like this nightmarish steed, based on the way that it's hardest. Almost like this oxen type thing with a man's face. Mm -hmm. um, as you look, he's holding what looks to be a sort of a lantern. Um, and yeah. 
he kind of like calls out, Hurry, hurry. There's someone here. Oh, <sighs> stubborn. Oh, he turns around. Um, make a stealth check. You want me to roll for the bot? Yes, please. As it's going to be contested. So, I'll, back, I'll just say this. Advantage. Yeah, beat a 19. Yeah, I got a 23. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. five. <laughs> okay. So, Spine Crusher, you immediately hide back against the wall mm-hmm. while the uh, the robot <laughs> just kind of <laughs> hide steps. <laughs> it gets down, holds the lantern. Hello there. It's all right. You are the ones from the city. I make uh I make the bot go. <laughs> Come. I mean you no harm. Come. Just makes itself seen. <laughs> you are a curious one. I did not notice you at first. Spine Crusher still hiding. Spine Crusher yells, not yells out. Who are you? What is this place? Well, you. You sound a little bit different, don't you? You do not know where this is, truly. Seems like hell to me. No, no, no. You see, in hell, the demons are tormentors. Yeah. The tormentors and the tormented are one and the same. This is his kingdom beneath the waves. Points up at the undulating sky. I suspect where you are from, beneath the waves, you probably think of a great sea. Oh, this is no sea. These are his very thoughts. Well, if you ventured out this far, you must be truly mad you'll fit right in well come do you have any custom to trade you are looking for items to trade I thought I heard a scream so I then I heard something that sounded like a great number of pots and pans clanging against the wall and then I decided to try and tell this useless beast to Hurry up so we can move on. I'm grateful that you do not seem so agitated. I don't think it's going to kill Spine Crusher. Do you want to go talk to a, a weird, spooky merchant? Why not at this point? Okay. So we'll go catch hey, up. It's gonna get weirder, like... Why are you I... here? Are you... this... Mad One's thoughts, too? No. No, that isn't the thing. I have been here for all of time. I am what you would call... Craven. One of the many who have been cursed by our inaction to live with our shame. I was here when the last city came. Saw people then, too. They gave me trinkets and things. They gave me this lantern. He holds it up. Can I do a perception check on the lantern? Or an insight check? Yeah, uh, do an arcana check. Okay. As I try to take a really close look at it. Four. Yeah. Um, Four. It's a pretty red color. You're not quite sure what to make of it. Well met. Hello there. You are all... You have a great deal of company, then. I... It's I, wise to travel in such a way. But you... You do not. Where are your compatriots? I have learned over my time here not to make any compatriots. But the humble merchant. As I have told you, I am a merchant. I ask, have you anything to trade? Hmm. 
I was a knight of Kushnak. I carry little with me. Uh, it's a name I've not had in quite some time, but it is a name I know. What do you know of Kushnak? He was not... Well... He did not have the same fate as us. We, Craven, chose neither side. He chose one, then the other. I've heard of you. You have? You are very old. I am. I do not really think of time anymore. Of age. Of only of ages. You are still stuck here in his realm. Is there no escape? I have been here since the curtain fell. Branded one. I was afraid you would well, say that. What? There is perhaps a way, but you would have to take it from one of his daughters. We've already met his daughters. Not all of them. Three of them? They're one of his favored. She lives. Well. A twist of your mind away from here. What do they call the, uh, the favored daughter? Well, her anger manifests throughout this place. Do you not see its death looming all about? She's the wrath one. Her wrath has fed this place full to the point of it spilling over into decay to rot. Perhaps we will get along. He gives, you can't see his face, but you get the sense of maybe he seems humored, perhaps, by his body language. As I said, the Roth one has, as all his daughters do, a gift. He's a cruel sense of humor. If you've time, I can tell you a tale. I'm I think sure time is a luxury we have. Our time is all we have here. Our time depends on whether or not you know what left that uh, trail of blood behind us. That? Oh, that was the ones who were screaming. I thought I'd sell to them. They did not want to buy. They went off into that chamber there. He points uh, to the south, one that looks to be a bit more flesh colored. Then they ran out of it. Then I suspect whatever it was took them back in. Also good to know. As I said, a twist of mind away and you'll find the right place. The daughters... Oh, how should I put this? Each of them bickered. Each of them complained and whined. And so to appease them, their soul brought gifts that he used to placate their constant whining, their constant pleading. Father, I'm afraid, one of them said. I'm so terrified of dying. What will it be like? And so he gave her an amulet that she'd never die. She would never know death and what a cruel thing that was. One of them was constantly afraid of being no uh, seen, being noticed, always people looking at her, picking out every flaw, every... Well, she was very concerned about her face, you see. So we gave her a trinket that would allow her to pass unseen. I'm gonna let her watch others. She went mad, as I understand, loss of company. Another one wanted to walk the earth, or rather to swim it. She was afraid of drowning? Well, not quite. She was afraid of being helpless. So he gave her some trinket that would allow her to not drown, yes, but it'll allow her to understand what it was to go mad. The wrath one 
Well, she complained perhaps the most. Always wanted to get her way, was so adamant that her every single wish be granted. They say the diadem she wears, this crown, has uh, some part of his soul in it, I would say. Here in this world, it is said to grant you lucidity. It is said to be something that grants you clarity of thought, the ability not to be swayed by this world. More, what's more, you can reshape this world as you wish. Beyond these wars, beyond this realm, I could not imagine, but I'd imagine it would give you a sense of clarity of mind. The Roth one. I'd heard her screaming from a mile off. She'd found something was angry. Is it day or so ago? And what preceded that? Crying? I'm sorry? What preceded the screaming? A melody. A curious thing, a melody. Discordant, many voiced. But tiled like. Now tell me, have you anything to trade? A few trinkets. I have um, a fine set of armor. It resists fire. I do not know how many uh, dragons you encounter, but could come in handy. Be surprised. It seems like fire has been the sword of choice around here. Wait, Splam Crusher, do you want this? I'm our Splam Crusher's already wearing a set, right? Yeah, but if you're an. Do you look good? This kind of looks over at you, Zara. Says, "My eyes are not so well as they once were, but do they deceive me? Is that the garb of a soul blade?" Oh, they they are, yeah. Um, if they still exist, then um, I should have perhaps stuck with the side I started on. They, they do indeed. I will tell you something. As, uh, imagine a person in the water. For them, what do they want? Air. Maybe some sand to stand upon. I want nothing to do with water. Put a man in the desert, that same one. They have nothing but air and sand. All they want is water. Water is treasure there. So. Give me no coins. Give me no tr armor or swords. Here in this desert, we do not value water. We value truth. Do you understand? Hi. So, let's trade. I have already offered a great deal of wares. Do I feel like I can trust this person with some of the truth? Insight check. Oh, God. Ten. Ten? It's a merchant, something gained, something lost, you're not sure. Can I try an insight check? You can. Twenty-five. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah. So I would say this. Um You get the feeling that yes, he is trustworthy. But you're not necessarily sure that every single that that lantern and some of the other more material wares that he has are things that he's necessarily gotten through trade. 
could be that he scavenged the dead. After all, city upon city did say he was here for the last one. Fair enough. So, he's surviving. But, all in all, it seems like he's offering a trade of sorts. We're being hunted by the god of madness. He is following us through time. Yeah. Because um, we slaughtered the first three of his four daughters you mentioned. You did what? And the gifts he mentioned. I now hold them. That is quite a treasure. Indeed. Which of those... He kind of looks astounded. I feel like just gave and For a second, he just... May I offer this, then? He holds up his lantern. Oh, wait, no. I do speak an untruth. We only slaughtered two of them. The third we let live because she was just a little kid. We actually helped her to get home. But please the continue. The undying one. Aye. Mm -hmm. A little kid. Well. Underneath all of her exterior was a child inside. The gifts are cursed. These women are cursed with madness. It seemed like the right thing to do to free of its burden. You let Sestrina Nathalia live. I'm sorry, we what? We we mm -hmm. dying <coughs> one. <laughs> what? Daughter of Marshall. She has taken many forms. How oh, bad! I wish I was burning right now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Adraxa uh, just like sits down for a second. <clears throat> just falls on her ass on the ground. Like, <clears throat> <gasps> okay, continue. Yeah, apparently. Okay, no, she's not a kid. We don't... <clears throat> we don't always know what we're doing. We just do what seems right at the time. Oh, gods. What is wrong with you? Stand up. Would you trade with me, then? Possession for possession. Offer me one of those amulets you took from his daughters. And I can trade you this lantern. You see, this lantern I hold it not as a carrot to tempt this beast forward. The stubborn thing has lost its fear. This lantern is a lantern of true sight. Oh. I hold it at the beast's back and it flees where I guide it. So. It may aid you well wherever you go. Would you trade an amulet for that? I look at Zara. <sighs> True sight is very valuable. I can't cast it many times. Are... I don't even know what all of the three things do. I only ever saw the last one in use. I don't even know what the first two do, really. You are very old, so I am assuming somewhat wise. Do you understand that these are curses? I understand plenty. I'm just curious. Um, You know that um, bullseye lantern I picked up from uh, fighting the spider? By any chance... Not the spider, the court queen. By any chance... Does that look similar to the one he's holding right now? As you pull it out of your sack to compare it? Yeah. Very similar. <gasps> you clever bitch! You, you, you clever bitch. <sighs> I knew one of these little things had to be good. He kind of... <laughs> you hear a laugh coming from him. I didn't know that's what it did. <laughs> Thank you for the information. I could kiss you. <laughs> Very well. What else, what else do you have? The answer is not no. Well. I am 
have other trinkets, but I think for now, why don't you go see if you can find that diadem? You'll have to, of course, find a way to take it from her, the giantess that she is. For you, it would not be a crown. I think perhaps a mantle you could wear upon your shoulders. But I'm sure they'll grant you the same sort of blessing and curse. We have only adorned two of these amulets twice. Both times went so bad. But if that's what we need to do to get out of here, then so be it. I think that he offered his daughter's perspective. He offered them a way of realizing that asking for exactly what you think you want can sometimes be the curse. And blessing. In time. I wish you well in your travels. We'll meet again. I'm sure. We'll Onward! Be. And he goes, climbs back into his cart, holds up the lantern, and you can see as he kind of aims it towards the back of the creature, um, you can see there's this sort of. Well, make a perception check to see if you notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perception. Uh, 16. 25. Yeah, there you go. You look at it and you can see it almost seems like the, you know, the light that hits the back of the creature starts to show what looks like trails of sand falling off of it, cascading. Um, the light from Jarrah's lantern? Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, no, from the lantern that he has okay. on his stick. Um, you also notice that with the 25, you notice that the light stops at the bandages wrapped all around his face. Weird. So, truths, I'm... things hidden, secrets. I'm not gonna You're lie. You're not sure what to make of him. That guy was pretty cool. He's <clears throat> was pretty cool. No. Fine Crusher's just shaking his head. Like looking at Zara and the tracks that everything that they just revealed. Who did I get myself in with? You want the truth. You want to be a big damn right. hero, you gotta, you know, take some losses. So, you see him kind of go off uh, into the distance along this sort of winding path. Um, you see down below the path that he had mentioned what looks like two. One to the right, one directly south. Zara, can you get that? Can you get that light working? Oh, yeah. I'll try to get it working. Does it turn on? Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm curious about now that I know this is a lantern of true sight, I have um, 26 mystery scrolls Uh. Can I shine that lantern on the mystery scrolls? What does that lantern do? Also from the Corp Spider Queen. Mm -hmm. You're gonna need to roll a d100 26 times. <laughs> can we, can, for the sake of brevity, could we just do one. that? I just, I just want to do one. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Pick, so pick one at random. Um, they're okay. all just labeled mystery yep. scroll. Loop, mystery scroll. Okay, you pick one out. Um, holding up the lantern to it. Uh, the text becomes what was once sort of arcane scribbles uh, becomes suddenly just scribbles written in well, do any of you speak under common? Or like read and speak under common. Wait, no. Uh, Zara and I speak everything right now. No, wait. Speak, we speak it, but we don't read you, it. Never mind. Yeah, so Unfortunately, you need to find someone who does read under common, which you've got someone who's pretty likely. You just have to get back to him. Mm. Yeah. So. Last last thing I want to try. Um, mm -hmm. I want to hold that magnifying glass in front of the bullseye lantern. Okay. 
you hold it up. Um, what you see is a bit of the stone and flesh that's around here. Uh, as you hold it up, it starts to sizzle. Yo! Um, with that, Did you I start just get to smart or somehow? Like... You start to hear this hissing noise. Oh, okay. Nope, 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 nope. It did not like that. Oh, I pissed it off. What did you I mean, do? Sort of coming from the room that he told you the dead people ran in and out of and back into. So. Okay. Okay, you guys start moving. You no, move. no, we are we are planning. Give us a minute. <laughs> no, don't go anywhere. No, we need to we need to plan. We have five scouts that you know, we're going to kill anyway. Let's Yeah, let's send them in. Okay. Also, listen, Fergan Dolly. You need to understand we are not the monsters. We killed all three of those daughters in self-defense. We did not hunt them. We just found themselves in their way, and they attempted to kill us every time. The hissing grows louder. Okay. okay. You killed three of them. You said two. But send the scouts in. Send the scouts in. Okay. All right. As I, like, try and focus on, like, sending in um, my one solo guy into the cave, I'm like, well, the thing about the third one is, like, we had to kill her a couple of times before we re she kept coming back to life, and... She kept just okay. popping back up. <laughs> Which, so that I can understand, um, let me just add another token onto the map so that I can understand where you're sending these guys. Sorry, one second. So, cool. are you sending... Yeah. So, yeah, I want to send them to the cave to the south. The scary one. This... Was yeah. it this one? Um, the flesh one or the ones that he told you to go to? I shouldn't say told you, but suggested. Yeah, the one that he suggested we go to. Which one was that? And he I'm said, only sending one. Yeah. He said, so this is like the fleshy one. A fle this, the oh, flesh tunnel? Yeah, the flesh tunnel is to your left. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> um, it's the towards the south. It splits off to the right and left. He did not say which. You can make a perception check if you want to. Please. Okay. Apparently, I used on my good rolls, uh, slaughtering spine crusher. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, it's enough. From the south, you hear. Sounds like a melody. All right. I'll send Clumsy Boy in quietly down the tunnel to the south. Do I recognize that melody? Um, give me a second, and then you can tell me if oh, you yep. do. Do you recognize the melody? Any of them. Oh, it's not picking up. Can you get, like, right up on it? Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, hold on. How about now? You might need to turn off, like, Crisp. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. One it's second. Ah, yeah. uh, because it's so creepy. Hold on one second, and oh, I will tell you. Here. Wait a minute. I will tell you. I'll do it in a second. Um... Sarah, did you tell me about your dream? Or are you keeping that to yourself? I don't remember. Um, okay. Once gonna... we came in here, I would have told you about it. Okay. All right. Turning off noise suppression. Second. Can you hear it? Yeah. That's horrible. You start to hear the melody coming through. You pull the gain up a little bit more. No, stop. That's so scary. <laughs> well, you send the robots down? I, uh, yeah. I send one of them down. <laughs> I just want to know how big you smiled, Matt, when you first thought of this idea. Oh, so and big. how you smiled. So big. <laughs> I hate it so much. I, I have goosebumps. 
<laughs> so, do you recognize any of these melodies? I don't do puzzles often, but... When I do, I creep the hell out of you. Yeah, let's for a sec. Clock is ticking. Um... I know how to play one of these on recorder, but I don't know what it is. I don't know the name of it. One of them sounds like an ice cream truck. Probably all do. The still cutting in and out a bit too, so we're not yeah. completely yeah. stupid. Oh, this would have been so much better if we were all together for it, but... Right. Yeah, I feel like I know one of them, but I can't. Yeah. It's so hard to... a oh, while. Wow. Oh, is, um, is one Frosty the Snowman? Nope. Is one Twinkle Twinkle? Nope. Oh no, Jingle Bells. That's what I was thinking. Nope. There's one... no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's especially creepy because it keeps cutting out too. Yeah, it makes it extra hard to figure it out. Yeah. You're only getting like a couple seconds at a time. This is uh, somewhere over the rainbow? Yes, okay. Oh. With that. Um, you start to see, as you start to hear the melody and recognize it, you hear a voice. Hello? 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 Are you there? Do I hear this too? You specifically hear this voice as well. Yeah. So, or let's like say you specifically recognize this voice. Yeah. Oh, these are the kids from my dream the other night. Oh, gr great. It's cool, they're nice. Okay. okay. Please? Can you come? Yeah. I'm so scared. Okay. okay, you go down to the... Are the scouts going? Yeah, uh, this might be a bad choice, but I'm gonna do it. I okay. stick with Zara. Skull Crusher isn't feeling quite so brave. He, he trails behind. Okay. I'm going to leave with, four bots at the entrance and then... Let's do this. With that, with recognizing the song finally, you do find there is also an, a, one of the chambers that you hear, hear this sort of sound and then there's a puddle of sand more or less flowing outwards. Is you see it reveals a bit of um, looks like shining glittering emerald tucked into the wall almost like a mineral deposit much like an oyster might have pearl or something in it emerald it looks like emerald the emerald city could be <laughs> what are the voices doing the voices yeah just over here. Be quiet, please. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Yeah. You can't wake her. She gets angry. Please let us out. Oh, what the, where are they trapped? I'll keep following the voices. Okay. Yeah, are the voices coming from the emeralds or farther down the path? For, further down the path. Okay. Please, oh. it hurts so much. Oh. I wanna, I wanna just look at the emerald thing real quick. Just okay. with my eyes, I wanna look at it. Okay. Um, it looks like just emerald, like just uh, like a strange bit of gems. Um, you want me to hit it with the true sight? Yeah. Does that even work? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Um, you hold up the lantern; it glimmers a bit more. Cool. I touch it. Okay. Touch the emerald. Yeah. Okay. Feels like a rock. The first right, thing that doesn't see. recoil at your touch, actually. 
Yo! Okay, let's get that... Those children? Whatever. Okay. Out of wherever they're trapped. Let's not... Okay. Let's not wake the wrathful one. Let's okay. Not. You come forward and you see a top... Um, not a campfire, but this part looks like burning cinders glowing up from underneath, almost like, you know, breaking lava stone. Um, and you can see that the the air above it is sort of rippling with heat. And inside of this iron cage, kind of holding on to the bars as they glow sort of cherry red at the bottom, um, you can see this, the triplets um, clinging on as best they can, like a hermit crab climbing a cage. Please, you let us out of here. It hurts so bad. It's my turn to be up on top. You had your turn. Please. Hey, uh, How'd they put you in there in the first place? Then I can do it she backwards. Was, she was angry at us. There's no key. It's just a cage she picked up and put down on top of us. Oh, okay. okay. So just... Hang on. Um... I tell the bot to go to one side and I get the other and I just try and like pull it up. Uh, make a strength check. With advantage. Oh, thank you. And I'll give you guidance. Oh, thank you. That's a plus four? A d4. d4. Gold Crusher's standing there with his it's his uh, crossbow pointed at the kids. He doesn't trust him. As you are creeped thoroughly the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> by these things. Um, I don't like yeah. kids. Nat 20 plus 1 for 25. Yeah, um, okay. <sighs> Even with that, it still is difficult to lift, but you're able to, with the help of this first legion bot, <laughs> lifts it up. <clears throat> with that, it gives just enough time for them to scuttle out really quickly, dropping down. Um, as it comes down, though, uh, that first legion bot is crushed. Oh, under me. the weight of the cage. What does that look like in my head? Glorious. Uh, no, um, it looks like... Oh, in your head, what you're seeing? Yeah. Mm. Like, is he still online? For a second, it's sort of like when you think you see something out of the corner of your eye, and then al almost, I guess, like, like uh, probably what glaucoma feels like. There's just like a, a spot that like kind of goes black for a minute. You sort of try and adjust your focus like your contact slid off or something but in your <laughs> mind's eye um and then soon enough you don't you just don't see it anymore um you yourself when you open your eyes look down and you can see that specific odd lying on the ground cold dead good riddance i uh i tell an i tell one of the remaining to uh quietly come in here and like find our location okay um all right they come in mm. as well <laughs> saving us so scary it's uh struggling not to recoil well met i've heard many good things about you you three are apparently very brave and kind And you're very good at drawing and telling stories. Yes, yes. I like to, I like to draw. I like drawing a lot. She does. She does it very well. Hmm. Um, would you like us to draw you a picture? Oh. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh god, do we? Sure. Okay. One second. I can't wait to shine that bullseye lantern on whatever they drew. Because you know something wacky is going to happen. Or maybe not. Maybe there's <laughs> regular pigments. Have we confirmed okay. that your lantern is true sight? Yeah, because you showed it over the mysterious scroll and you did see. Oh, right. A... right okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, sweet. Me too. I'm so happy I wrote that down that entire loot list in. Um... D&D Beyond as well as Fantasy Grounds. Yeah, me too. Because so, all my old loot is just gone. In the ashes and smoldering bits of dirt, they carve out 
kind of drawing. It comes to look like, again, like you can see this image of a giant pondering something in the flames, this sort of armored shade. Hard to make sense of. So who is he? You are some very talented children. <clears throat> Thank you. I do all the, I like to do the parts with the faces. Sure, sure. She's better at them than me. I like hands. Wow, hands are like one of the hardest things to draw. Good on you, man. Thank you. So who is this one? Is this someone you know? Hi. No. This is someone you know. What does the picture look like again? Here. Sort of. You're carrying oh. him with you. Is this a joke? As you look at the picture, something about it starts to burn. Like the the red starts to dry up and the charcoal seems to turn to ash and you look at the sort of blackened armor that start to turn white. Why have you drawn this? I can see him. That's not funny. No, we see the things that come. Sometimes they're not here and then we we see them and then we draw them and then we see them. Who is this? I turn to Jackson. Who is this? And to Zara. Who? He's not here. It's not funny. It's not funny. I agree. I'm so very sorry. Well, we are... even if it's not good, it wouldn't have changed whether or not they showed us or not. We need to get away from here before she finds us. Okay. Before she... You hear this scream. This blood curdling, sickening scream. No. She's coming. She's coming. All right. Do you have any of those like little holes we can go into? Are there any around here? Like, what's up with that emerald? Can we? We can. Get no. We can go through there. And they point down at the picture. Go through it. Yes. Okay. Don't you understand? The rules here, they're not like your world. Oh, I have to envision it? I have to shift there? Make a wisdom check. Check? Yeah. Okay. You hear this thundering... Bro, natural 20. <laughs> 24. Natural 20? All right. Okay. You look at it, and it's this curious thing, like you're seeing a Salvador Dali painting come to life as you're looking at this drawing on the floor and suddenly it twists into this feeling of no longer being this flat plane where something has been drawn like a canvas but it becomes this room that you walk into you you guys see this strange this thing as in a as in a dream zara kind of takes your hand along with yeah. the triplets following you step forward and you I've find never yourselves walking ah. now. Okay. Sarah, maybe we so, should stay. Maybe we need to stand our ground and get the diadem. It keeps finding me. Do you go I'm... through? Do you pull? Maybe it's we just. You. Maybe we just need to get it over with. <sighs> you feel you hear the steps. We should do, guys. Decision. Fine. I'm going to start winding up the clocks again. Let's go through. I'm going through. Bad idea. You don't want to go through? You want to fight whatever that is? I trust I these so. kids not to get us murdered. Very well, let's go. Go, go, go. Next, okay. next time she comes back, we will have to fight. 
But maybe we could do it somewhere to our advantage. Okay. I vaguely get how this works now. Okay. A drag. Okay. You were pulled through. You see Oh, the what forest. about those robots? They do not go through. As right now, your head kind of is spinning from the crown. I would say a drag so you can keep the crown on and probably risk psychic damage or you can take it off. No, no, I'll take it off. All right. This just kind of gives a staticky feeling. Uh, put it in my pack. No. All right. No, not this thing. Where are we? Now, uh, as you look forward, you see what looks to be see, seated on a log wearing white armor. A halfling. Beneath a pale, leafless cherry tree. I don't want to go back. You turn, and you see only a field behind you, a different place. Unfamiliar. Why would you take us here? There is snow on the ground. Why would you take us here? The tree itself. I recognize him. The ground is red. Soaked. This is the one from the bottle. He looks up. Turn, looks at you, Adraxa. All those years ago, you cut me down. I was going to die. I was going to do something stupid and get myself killed and die. And you stopped me. You cut the rope, let me down. You saw me go and do something stupid again. Why didn't you stop me? I wanted to stop you. Why didn't you stop me? I tried to stop you. You could have saved everyone a lot of time and left me hanging on that tree. That's not true. What? That's not true at all. That's not true. How are you here? You could have left, you could have left me. You hear his voice. It's... Curdle. I, sh I shine the true sight lantern on him. You see the form dissipate into this bit of shadow. <laughs> it's not him. This dark laughter. <sighs> Fuck this dude. You hear, you think back to the merchant's words. Here in this place, the tormentor and tormented are the same. You, the children look at you. You're carrying him with you. Take us back. No going back. You can't go back, but you can go forward. Not to that. All right, okay. Um, let's look around here a little bit. Um, Maybe something will remind us of some place. Make a perception check. Twenty-two. You look at the you look at the branches, and they don't all look like branches. Do they look like more bone? No. You can go and investigate if you want to. Yeah. At Drax, it just like sit, sits down, stares at her hands for a minute. I'll go up as well. Okay. Um, you look at it. Um, they're blowing in the, le in the trees and everything. Very spindly looking branches, but something seems off. And it's at about that point in time uh, that you see one of the cherry branches curls up and you see it open its mouth. I need everyone to roll initiative. God fucking damn it. But given that it is a little yeah. late, it's up to you if you want to keep going or not. We can start, pick that up from here. I can do another hour if you guys can. I can't. Okay. Uh, does have to be up very early, but if you guys want to go on without me, feel nah. free. Let's no, let's okay. pick this up. No, because yeah. I'm not gonna. 
guess at Spine Crusher's damage and attacks and everything. So yeah, I don't want to fight yeah. your Brunin's backstory without you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Should we roll initiative? Oh yeah, I got. Well, let's, let's. We're not. Oh well, then yeah, keep that. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and roll okay. initiative. I also got a nat twenty. Rolling hot. It's heck? rolling okay. fire tonight. Oh, shit. So my uh, twenty three. And I rolled a four. So okay. six. all right. All right. Well, that'll still be in the uh, game log for uh, we pick it up uh, next time. Yeah. Matt, um, just. Oh my god. Just real quick, um, what the and fuck. What? So, um, the answer to your been question like, that for like a year and a half. What the heck is when you wish upon a star? Oh. Oh. As you said, over the rainbow. And. and this one. Right. That looks especially great. Oh. Hickory dickory dock. Oh, I um, thought I heard that one. Uh, this one, I'm not quite sure what it is, actually, to tell the truth. I feel like we could have done it if we were in the same room as you a bit quicker, but yeah, yeah. that was really cool. Oh, yeah, no, it was straight yeah. up. This one just sounds like hell, but it's got a nice tick top. Tick top. So, again, I'm so sorry for all the creepiness, and I'm glad I got the. Why are you sorry? Off. Don't be sorry. That was incredible. Yeah, that was fun, Matt. Thanks. I love how much I hate playing this game. Yeah. <laughs> it was a blast. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. Sorry for the, the emotional drama. And I love this dream realm manipulation stuff. It's fun. I... Creepy and evil, and you're getting the hang of it, which is worrying me. But it's fine. <laughs> I never would have envisioned when uh when Mike let me write the cherry tree into his backstory that I would later be fighting it in combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just excited as shit for where this is going. All right. Oh my god, yeah. Oh god. So many things. Oh, I'm gonna set that bad boy on fire. Um, the whole tree. The whole tree. You know, light it up. All right. All right. I'll see you guys in the uh, meta channel of the Discord. Yeah. Because we need. We have some planning to do. I don't want to burn all my resources on this tree when we have a queen to kill. Yeah. Yeah. All right, oh, man. Good All night, right. guys. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Bye. Ugh.